Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. Let's head to the Inclinator, which should take us down to Lower Seattle, where we can go meet the head person, or one of the head people, at the Order Church. Hey you, come here. What for? You live here? It's my first time topside. What's a good place to go shopping? Easy, Red. Mr. P said to lay low. You deaf? I said I want to get me a fly leather outfit like the one you're wearing. Come on, man, back off. Why well, every time we do a job, you gotta skits and get us all fired? P said stand here. I'm standing here, and now I want to go shopping. Only thing is I can't afford the Phoebesville markup. That's where you come in. <laughs> okay, thug. <laughs> oh my god, these people are so stereotypical. They have a thug voice. They've, they're wearing, like, sleeveless shirts with all sorts of stains all over them. They got a necklace and lots of body hair. Hmm, let's see. You picked the wrong person to mug, punk. You picked the wrong person to mug, punk. Punk? Hear that? She called Red a punk. Maybe your grandpappy was a punk, but I bet you never fought a low-down, low-town scab like me. What's the matter? Never learned to talk street? I don't take it back, if that's what you mean. Well, it's take it back or take back, Phoebe. Red ain't fooling. He's more scabbling than a greasel pit fighter. Would y'all just shut up and script some backup? I'm going in. None of those are real hey, words. Hey, hey, back. This okay, hold on. Um, I think this is a pretty good time to try a concussion grenade. I don't know if that's non-lethal. Uh, but let's try it. Gotta be packing. Oh. Oh. Okay, unconscious. Oh no, they're dead. <laughs> the rat's just like, get the hell out of my way. <laughs> That's a strong rat. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that rat! It's... <laughs> Such a stiff little boy. I love it though. Although, hmm, I'm not sure I love the teeth. Am I seeing teeth? Is that what I'm seeing? Hold on, we need to investigate. Those teeth? What the hell? That is terrifying teeth. Look at that. It's got like fangs or something. Okay, I've got an idea. How about I wait for the security bot to pass and then I snipe them all? Are they going to try to kill me? Like, I wonder if they'll defend me. Yeah, okay, that works. Ow. You're just making this worse on yourself. I'll be okay. You don't scare me, mister. You cross the line, buddy. Her holiness is waiting cross for the you. Line, buddy. She will help you in this search. A lot of things just happened. So... This wasn't non-lethal, but I didn't kill them, so... Yeah. By this yeah, it's all right. You suffer from Vasana, who are too attached to the superficial and material. Turn away from this false sense of self limitation to know the true target. Ooh. Ooh, that's another bolt caster. I want that because remember I messed up with my current bolt caster? I've got the uh, glass destabilizer thing, which is good, but I unfortunately installed another mod that I don't want, which means I can't put a silencer on it. 
Did I just... Was that another glass to stabilizer I just found? If so, then I'm set. And I have everything I need. Uh, let's go ahead and eat that. Yes, yeah, so this one has glass to stabilizer and EMP. Weapon mods. Yeah, wow. How lucky is that? So now I can install the glass destabilizer. And silencer. So you can only have two weapon mods per weapon, so that's going to be it for this one. I guess I can throw away this old one. I'm still not sure if I'm able to sell stuff. I mean, I talked to that merchant in the nightclub, and I wasn't able to sell anything to them, only buy. So it might be pointless to hold on to stuff, but... I assume a double upgraded bowcaster is probably worth a pretty good amount for the weapon mods alone, so I guess I'll hold on to it for now. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I think I'll toss the concussion grenades though, now that I know they're not non-lethal. Hey little buddy. <laughs> I love those noises. Oh, my shrill little friend. Here, why don't you eat this corpse? Rats eat corpses, don't they? I think they do. Wait a second. Wait, hold on. This is supposed to take me to the Inclinator, right? In fact, this is the only way to the Inclinator? Um, are you... Are you telling me the... Are you telling me the way people get to the Inclinator, officially, is they come down this hallway, they go here, there's a dead end, and then they have to go into the employees only maintenance entrance? What? That doesn't make any sense at all. This, this level design is completely nonsensical. Let's look at the map. Entrance to Inclinator. Right here. Okay. Apparently it's not em bonus. employees you only. Expect me to walk into a chemical spill for a few extra credits? What about you? Are you kidding? Without a hazmat suit? Every minute the Inclinator is offline, we're all losing money. Think about that. You weren't on the platform when that stuff spilled. I don't even want to guess what it does to a person long term. Need some help? I'm sorry, the Inclinator is closed until we get this toxic spill cleaned up. Don't you have any hazmat workers or bots to take care of it? One nanoformer bot, but it's been so long since we've had an emergency that it's fallen apart. I can't believe someone tried to slip toxic waste past us. Can it be fixed? The only guy with the code for the repair bot's closet is trapped on another platform. We've also got a hazard flush system, and we've got the code for that one. 4781. But the remote access is damaged. I'm trying to get one of these fools to go up to the balcony overlooking the bay to hit the master control, but they're afraid of crossing through the spill. We're not letting ourselves get threatened into risking our lives. You can't fire us for having some common sense. I never said I'd fire you. I just said that we're losing money over this, and I may have to let someone go afterwards. Right. Anyway, I'm hoping to find someone with more guts than these guys to do some quick contract work for a decent number of credits. If you manage to take care of it, report back to me so I can pay you. Until then, no one's going to be able to get down to Lower Seattle. Everybody in this game has something seriously wrong with them, I feel like. Calling them fools and berating them for not wanting to walk into a chemical spill without proper protection. The Inclinator shut down and this area is closed off due to a toxic spill. I talked to the facility director and got the details on the mess. 
I want to take a look at the extent of the damage. I might take the cleanup contract. I don't care if the director hired you. She doesn't have the authority to send anyone into this mess. The WTO is handling the situation now. We've got bots patrolling, which I can't reprogram at this stage. There's no way we can guarantee anyone's safety under these conditions. So I'm barred from entry? I won't stop you, but I can't ensure you'll be safe from the toxic materials or the bots. If I was you, I wouldn't come within 50 yards of those bots unless I was armed to the teeth with EMP weapons. I tried to take out a bot with a shotgun one time. Fat chance. Okay, see ya. Thank you for wasting my time. I am okay. Hmm. Yeah, they're just like right there. Uh, what do I have by way of EMP? I've got two EMP grenades. I kind of want to try the spider bombs and see how those work. Say the attack the nearest enemy delivering EMP and electrical damage. So let's try them. Oh. Crap. Well, it's probably fine. Right? I can just open this. Get him! Get him! Oh, look at him all jumping and happy and ready. Oh, Jesus. It's so excited! Analyzing evasive tactic. Come on, you're so close, you're so close. There you go. Get him! Oh no, destroyed one of them. What about the other one? Oh, I got him! Oh, good job, buddy! I'm so proud of you! I love them. They're adorable. Man, I've been taking a lot of damage. Did I just hear another robot? Oh crap, yep, there's another one down there. Go get him, buddy. Go get him. Come on. I wish I could, like, pick him up and... Somewhere else. You have violated this zone's assessing damage. Danger of all integrity failing. Severe damage. It doesn't seem capable of shooting up here. Mission jeopardized. System is failing. Yeah, okay, that works. That's a pretty big design flaw. They can't aim their weapons up. That is a hideous cone. What is it made out of? Moldy American cheese? I still can't get over how cute they are jumping up and down, so excited, looking for something to do. Ah, dang it, I can't break the glass with a traffic cone. How about this? Nice. Please, no graffiti. What? No graffiti on my corkboard that's in my office? Th wh what? Mako Ballistics Inc. Needs test subjects for firing range. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Greasel Pit. Merc's welcome. Tunnel section of warehouse district. Flyer for hire. Sid Black. I think that might be the dancer at the nightclub. 
like the hologram person. Move forward on the climbable vent shaft. Sir. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can climb that. Cool. Um, yeah, let's go up here. Oh, nice, we can get over the chemical spill. Trying to think if I can make that jump normally. I should probably activate my super strength. Oh, okay. Well. You know what? Maybe I don't have to jump to it. Maybe if I crouch down. Oh, hey, there's a multi tool. Maybe if I crouch down and go along here, I can fit underneath this thing. Oh, yeah. Gotta remember, I can become like six inches tall. I guess I could even go over here. Huh. Oh, it has her flesh control. I've got the code for that, right? Wait, don't I? Why do I need to hack it? Thought I have the code for that. Travel, you may want to report the news to the Inclinator Director. I didn't even tell them that I was taking this job. I don't even know who that person is. There's just somebody with the WTO. How do they know about this situation already? Hmm. Well, I want to see what's through this vent. Back to this room. Looks like there's stuff hidden behind these crates. Aha! That didn't even work, now I'm just trapped here. <laughs> but that just takes me back to the main place where I came into here. Seriously though, that pallet just trapped me inside. Mean. Oh, that's a can of soda, that's food. I should probably drop the smokes. Definitely don't need him. Oh, we got a bunch of explosive barrels around here. Oh no, sorry, not explosive, radioactive. Oh, it's the broken nanoformer bot. Just sitting there sparking. A wooden pallet's too heavy. Wooden pallets don't weigh that much. I've lifted up wooden pallets before. Like, in real life. Well, okay, maybe more drag them than anything, but... Still. Ooh! Let's let our little friend out. near a repair bot. When a repair bot is nearby, it is programmed to automatically replenish the bioelectric energy that powers your bio mods. Oh, nice. Also, my little nano, my little, um, 
Spiderbot friend just said, unacceptable, please desist, because I hacked this thing. Ah, would they forgive me? Oh, that's the Inclinator. Okay, well, I think we're done here. Oh, hey! I guess the repair bot repaired it. Greetings. Greetings. Let's go back to the director. I've taken care of the problem. The area is no longer hazardous. Fantastic. Here's a few credits for your trouble. I was expecting that to be a loading screen. Just gonna teleport you to the bottom. What's up there? <laughs> oh, whoa. You can lift yourself up on things? <laughs> oh, you can. It's just kind of slow and awkward, but it works. SMG. I love that there's just ammo and stuff sitting on the ground. Oh, I got a weapon mod, EMP converter. Hmm. You know, I suppose the SMG would do better than a pistol, right? So, like, why even have the pistol? Well, it's got a silencer on it, but... Eh, I'm just gonna drop it. Let's put the SMG in its place. Its alternate firing mode launches a flash bomb. Hmm. I guess I'll go ahead and actually put the EMP thing on. Because I'm pretty much just going to use that to destroy bots. Fine, dude. Is it because I grabbed that barrel? Are you scared of the barrel? Can't talk now. <laughs> I love this game. It's so silly. I love it. Oh, why would somebody throw away a multi tool? Oh. I wonder if I hurt them by like jumping on them. Like, I... This doesn't make any sense! So you go into a employee-only maintenance room at a dead end to get to the Inclinator and to get out of it to, I'm assuming this takes me to Lower Seattle, you go out a maintenance room. What? what? I feel like this is supposed to open or something, but this makes no sense. Lower Seattle slums. going to shut the inclinator down completely. I've been saying that since it was built. You said it wasn't going to work, too. Then you said it was going to get us jobs. You said everything, ten times over. You call that predicting the future? Think like that and they already got you script, man. That's their play. Make out like it was some low-town plot and see how we react. Doesn't bother me. Only time I went up the Inclinator was when I got arrested. I'm looking for the Order Church. They've set up in the abandoned Hartford Turbine Factory. You a seeker? You don't look the type. No. She means that the Order doesn't pull down many Enclave Phoebes. Plenty of kooks up there, but they're afraid of the old neighborhoods. The Church won't turn me away though, will they? Nah, they don't mind if you hang out in the chapel. As long as you don't fall asleep. Man, did I find that out the hard way. 
So where's the factory? Head south up the hill from the inclinator. The old factory's just southeast across the street. They'll always need us for their dirty work. Like my brother Danny. He cleans the bots that clean the floors up there. How would he get to work without the inclinator? He cleans cleaner bots? I guess they never invented a bot that cleans other bots. Well, they will. The whole point of an enclave is to be self-sufficient. Once they're established, they'll crash a helicopter into the inclinator and blame it on a drunk smuggler. I'm just gonna stand on them and they squeak. <laughs> you know what's interesting and something I I actually quite like about uh, Deus Ex Invisible War um, compared to something like Mankind Divided is that in Mankind Divided there's mostly generic people, right? Like most characters are just like generic citizens, generic guards. Uh, they don't have any names or anything like that. You can't really talk with them. They just say a couple generic lines, you know? But what's interesting is I, I'm pretty sure every single character I've encountered in Invisible War, even if you can't have a conversation with them, they all have names, right? Like, they're not entirely generic. Like, even these two people have names. This is Mac, and this is Lowtown Lucy, which is a pretty awesome name. Careful walk around here at night. There's a lot of multi-tools around. Whoa. Wait, hold on. I want to be lifted by that. Yes. We're ascending. <sighs> Greasel pit. Doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> Another maintenance room. This one's not employees only, though. I totally didn't pay attention to their directions. Calling bad cells. Done. Hi. The trader handles business. I am here to prevent unfair transactions. Shall we conduct business? What are you selling? I have a black market biomod canister, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. enables none. It's fascinating. Just take a look at their actual descriptions. EMP, energy cells, black market biomod. Um, yeah, let's get a black market biomod. I'll take the black market biomod. Biomod, appreciate. So the moment the only black market thing I have is this. Level three uh, will be a, enables domination or alliance switching options for turrets. Yeah, that'd definitely be good. I do wonder if I want something else, though. Oh, this one, by the way, this black market mod here is really grim. Health Leech Drone breaks down corpses and uses them for reconstructive healing, and you get double the healing from unconscious targets. Like, that is super grim, but also really interesting. So you actually get, like, a, a real... Um, it gives you an incentive for making targets unconscious, even if you don't want to go for a non-lethal playthrough, because this would obviously still kill them, but it also gives you a reason to take them out you know, in a non-lethal way to begin with. It just sounds so grim though, like what does it look like? It says health leech drone, so is it a separate drone that like comes out of you or something? And what does it do, like regurgitate acid onto them or something? Like how does it work? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get the next level of Neural Interface. And what does the one after that do? Oh, that's the max level, level 3. Okay. Uh, they probably wouldn't like it if I try to open this, right? Right? Final warning, switching to combat. <laughs> Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to explore more of the Lower Seattle. <laughs>